Today we're going to be looking at a, a little espresso maker that I have been sent by the manufacturer. So up front to start with, I did not pay for this. This was a, a gift for me to have a look at and review. And it is the Flare espresso maker. I haven't opened this yet. This is as it has arrived and I'm kind of curious to see what's in the box. So let's have a look. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh. So we get, we get a little brewing guide too, which is very nice. It has the, the feel of an airline safety card, if I'm totally honest. I don't, I don't know why it makes me think of that, but that's, that's not a criticism. I'll come back to this in a second. Let's open the case up. Well, well, well. All right, we've got a little shower screen. We have what I presume is like the brew chamber. Got a little funnel thing, love a little funnel thing. We have the lever itself, which is kind of interesting. And we have a base piece. We've got a little plastic piece here, a little thing to, to kind of put this together, which is what I shall do now. I should add, there's, a, there's another little package here. with some extras. Nice little note from uh, the person behind. Uh, the flare. More pieces. Ooh, wow, now. Little gauge, this is getting interesting. That is, that is fantastic. That is a little tiny tamper made out of colored pencils. And that, that is, that is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I like that a lot. All right, I think, I think I'm getting this now. I think I know what I'm, what I'm doing. So this is our maiden voyage. I have done everything it's told me to do. Everything is prepped and in place. Ground some coffee, I've tamped it with the amazing tiny tamper. I preheated my brewing chamber here. I've just bought some water. I'm gonna be using the fancy plunger that appears to have a pressure gauge on it. So what I'm supposed to do is, is fill to the line in here. I'm gonna put my little plunger thing on. And now we should be ready to brew. Oh, we have coffee. We have coffee. Coffee with a little crema on top. Now, how does it taste? Pretty, pretty good. Pretty uh, interesting. So pretty good mouthfeel in that shot. Some really nice texture indicating a reasonably good extraction. I think I was probably at the upper end of fine at the on the grind settings. It was, it was a workout. And you can see this little gauge was, was, was running pretty high. And actually, if you look at the, the sort of physics of these kind of things, they, they're very, very capable of achieving nine bars plus actually of pressure just through, you know, uh, the physics of a lever, which is always an interesting thing. I'm intrigued by this particular shot. I mean, it, it's not a staggeringly good espresso, but it's the first shot I've pulled on this. This is just interesting. Interesting. So this is now my second shot coming together and I'm, you know, I think I'm starting to get my head around it a little bit more. So I just wanna see how much water you get if you fill to the line. So we've got 15 grams of coffee, that's 60, 
60 grams of water in. That's not necessarily what we're gonna get out though. I've pulled a few more shots. I've had some pretty tasty espresso out of this thing. And while I don't think I've used it enough to say that this is a full review or a deep dive, I certainly have enough thoughts for a first impression. And in some cases, I'm not sure that using it more would necessarily change my opinion about these things. It is clearly a well-made thing. Like it's, it's well designed, it's beautifully made, there's care and love and attention uh, in this little brewer. And they start at around $160. And so to have uh, something at $160 make pretty good espresso is certainly interesting. I've been using my Baratz Encore on a pretty fine setting, so by no means a high-end grinder, and actually still some reasonably good results. And I think if you paired this with a very good grinder, which is always the best way to go, then I think you get some really pretty fantastic results out of it. But there, there is a caveat to all of this. Like it, you don't just get a $160 espresso machine that works really well without there being some sort of compromise somewhere. And in truth, the compromise is it's all a little bit fiddly. It's all a little bit convoluted. There's certainly a little bit more work for you to do uh, in this kind of process to get good results. If you take the process of prepping a shot, you're gonna grind, that's not unusual. You're gonna dose and the funnel is actually really nice. You're gonna tamp, and I love this thing. I love this little tiny tamper. The bit that becomes sort of fussy is you put your screen on top, then you go and get your chamber that you have to preheat 100%. You must get that thing as hot as you can for the best results. And that's, that's a little bit faffy, right? It does have a little handle for holding, but it is a hot thing that you're pulling out of hot water. And, and, and you know, I can't help but wanna dry it off a little bit, put it in place. Pour your hot water in, so your kettle, you want to get that boiling at around about the right time. Get your piston in place and then pull the shot. I'm grateful that they, they, that they sent me a little bit more of a, a fancy version of this. This isn't the baseline version, there's some niceties here. And this pressure gauge looks like an early version of a, a much nicer looking gauge that they're releasing in their kind of pro model um, that they're announcing later this month. With the gauge, I found this pretty easy to use. I think without the gauge, I, I would have found it much harder. Maybe I became instantly reliant on, on seeing some sort of feedback, but I certainly found it very helpful. It's good, it makes great coffee, but there is a little bit of a sacrifice, you know, for example, emptying out the basket after use. It's just a little bit fussy, it's a little bit messy, and, you know, I, I fully admit to being spoiled by having you know, one of the best setups at work that money can buy and, and a, a very easy workflow there. So anything that's not that obviously uh, is sort of harmed by comparison, right? It's at a disadvantage. It just makes me a little bit more conscious of it. Overall, I, I'm genuinely impressed. I think um, I would probably not go for the super cheap end of things. If I was looking at one of these, I would want some extras like the pressure gauge. I think that's a nice thing. I, I think there's clearly someone who loves making coffee behind this thing. The fact that there's a, a version that you can convert to a naked porta filter just very easily. I think that's fun. Uh, I, I think that's great. I don't really know how everything will age in terms of all of the, the, the gaskets and seals inside this thing. Uh, they do sell replacements, but I, I can't speak to the longevity of something like this. You know, if you've got a machine, I'm not sure, I'm not sure I know the right time for this. It's obviously a very capable travel espresso maker. And, and if I needed to make espresso on a hillside somewhere, well, if I've got access to, to water and a heat source, then this, this would do. I like it. I just, I just can't quite fit when, for me, I would use it a lot. I'm gonna keep it in its travel case to hand. Uh, I might let it to some friends who wanna just kind of play around with this stuff, because it is pretty easy to use. The instructions, the guide is pretty good, it's pretty clear. And it makes espresso seem pretty easy, right? You're gonna tweak your grind setting like everything else, but actually keeping your, your dose in constant in terms of both ground coffee and, and hot water in the chamber, all of that stuff I think is, is a good thing to make espresso relatively easy to do and actually get some pretty impressive results. Like I said, I was sent this for free. I was sent a very nice version of this with some lovely extras for free. So uh, do take that into consideration whenever you're, you're seeing a review like this. If you have one of these, what are your thoughts? How are you using it? When are you using it? I would really be interested to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.